Wasi 2020 elective mathematics. Question 15. A particle B moves in a plane such that at time t seconds its velocity v is equal to 2ti minus t cube j meters per second. A. Find when t equal to the magnitude of the velocity of p. I. I. Acceleration of p. So we are finding the magnitude of the acceleration of p. The B part. Given that P is at a point with position vector 3i plus 2j, when t is equal to 1, find the position vector of P when t is equal to 2. Before we start solving this question, let's see the path traced by the velocity of the particle in the plane. And we can see that at a given time so we are tracing it from time t equals 0 to 2.5 now we can see that at any given time the components of the velocity of the particle can be obtained so when we obtain the component at t equal 2 we can see that the particle the velocity component of the particle are 4 and negative 8. So don't forget that velocity is a vector quantity. So we can trace that and obtain this. So the magnitude of the velocity at time t equal 2 is just the length of this vector. And we know how to do that. Now we can continue with our question. So, we were given a vector function v of t to be equal to 2ti minus t cube j in meters per seconds, meters per seconds. So, to find the magnitude of the velocity of p at time t equals 2, we need to substitute t equal 2 into this function to get v of 2 or v at 2 to be equal to 2 times 2i then minus 2 cube g in meters per seconds and that will give us 4i minus 8j in meters per second so the magnitude of this vector is given by square root of 4 squared plus negative 8 squared and that will give us root of 16 plus 64 which is equal to square root of 80 or 4 root 5 meters now the B part the II part of A we are calculating the acceleration of P at T equal 2 to get the acceleration we need to differentiate this expression for the velocity so when we do that we get acceleration is equal to the derivative first derivative of the velocity function and that will give us 2i minus 3t squared j in meters per second squared so if we want to find the, velo the acceleration at time t equal 2 we substitute t equal 2 into this velocity function and that will give us 2i minus 3 times 2 squared j and this will be equal to 2i minus 12 j so the magnitude of the acceleration will be equal to square root of the component squared sum of the components of the vector squared and this will be equal to root 148 or 2 root 37 meters now we want to continue with the second part the b part of the question so given that p is at the point with position vector this when t equal one find the position vector of 
B when T equal to. So we have our position vector, which is actually a displacement vector, will be the integral of the velocity vector. And when we do that, we get something like this. Do the expression for the velocity. So we integrate to get t squared i minus 1 over 4 t exponent 4 j. So you know how to integrate. Add 1 to the exponent, divide by the result. Add 1 to the exponent, divide by the result. So we have the displacement function given by this plus a constant which is a vector this constant is actually a vector position vector so we plug in t equal 1 to get the displacement at t equal 1 to be this that is 1 squared i minus 1 over 4 1 exponent 4 g plus the constant of integration and we're told that the position vector at time t equal 1 is 3i plus 2g and that will give us this that will be equal to this so we solve for the c we subtract the corresponding component we subtract this from this then we bring this one to this they will add up so c is actually equal to 2i plus 2.25j now we substitute C in place of this to get this. So we now simplify. We combine the I terms, the I components, and the J components respectively. So if you do that, we get this something like this. And what do we do next? We want to find the position vector of p when t equal 2 so we just plug in t equal 2 into this position vector which is actually the displacement of the particle and that will give you s of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 2 i plus 0 negative 0 0.25 into 2 exponent 4 plus 2.25 and this will give us the required position vector to be 6 i plus 1.75 j is it supposed to be plus or minus so this is actually minus it's negative negative so 6i minus 1.75 j so the correct answer or the required answer over here is 6i 6i minus 1.75 j that is the position vector position vector at time t equal to so this is 1.75 j thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe if you like this video click the like button and if you watch this video alone you not enjoy it just share with your friends so share now on your whatsapp platform and your facebook page so thank you so much for watching and see you in another video now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.